Do you want early access? Do you want uncut reactions? If so, then check out our Patreon. Link in the description down below. Class 1A. That's what the name of this episode is. I I'm guessing that this is going to be like a showcase of uh, how far Class 1A has come against the rest of the field out there. Right. I mean, because Todoroki's in a little bit of a tight spot because he's run into some, you know, as Nick called them, the uh, Hidden Leaf High School ninjas. No. And then, of course, what the hell's going on with Bakugo? I don't know where Bakugo is, and I don't know what's going on with him. All I know is that he just told everyone to screw off and just ran off on his own. And now we have uh, Deku, Hanta, and uh, Uraraka all together in a trio. And I'm thinking they're going to come up with a pretty good plan to get some points and get uh, get to passing the provisional uh, first stage of the provisional exam. Seems like they're going to make a plan and get some, uh, get some good juju going. So let's get it up on screen and let's give it a watch. Oh, hello. Keep attacking. Don't let up. Got it. They twins? They've worked out a way to counter everything I have. It's useless to resist. No wonder they told us to choose a terrain that would suit our style. There he is. Surround him. In that case, I'm guessing that this tank is full of the real thing. Gotcha. Wait, is he? Boom goes the dynamite. Or not. Yep. Well, it looks like the commission kept the force of the explosion from being too damaging. You bastard. Apologies. But I simply cannot afford that to fail. Pants off. Students who have passed the exam should congregate in the ante room. We'll soon have company. I've confirmed four UA students have entered the building. Ugh. Arm duplication, a sound wave manipulator, a frog, and a quirk that allows you to make things. Yes, Am I getting like some fact, Integra vibes from her look? The yeah. The although it's no yeah you know, she's got the monocle no. the the hair yeah I mean, sort of. the outfit I guess. So they've all passed. I want to be like. Mike. Wait, what were we talking about? I don't know. Mm. He just came up and started talking. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see anyone from our class. We should probably give up on fighting everyone. We need to fight for ourselves and make sure we pass. I hear four people climbing the stairs, ten floors below. All the other schools we've observed have moved in much larger groups than that. They're not stopping on the other floors. <laughs> They must know Kyoka's quirk and we're targeting her on purpose. It's a coordinated attack. This isn't good. Ladies. Now we can't tell where anyone is. Let's begin phase two. Shouldn't keep our guests waiting. Everyone hide! Attack from the outside! What's their plan? They're trying to keep me from using my eyes. Our opponents know exactly who we are. And more importantly, what we can do. Yeah, your Ozu. What could their next move be? We should assume they're already close by, waiting for the right moment to strike. In that case, we have to fight! Wait, don't be reckless! We're being destroyed! Oh! Phase two is complete, ma'am. Must be someone extremely intelligent among our opponents. A student with an eye for strategy. It's coming from the vents! Phase three is underway. Is Sue technically warm-blooded, even though she's part frog? I think. Oh, there she goes. What's wrong? Yeah. <laughs> Amphibians. All of a Her body's going into hibernation. Here's a blanket. No. All right. There's a nothing. What are they doing to the door? Welding it shut, trapping us further. Are they trying to freeze us solid? Those doors over there are the only ones we have left. Opponents are definitely waiting on the other side. We'll have to do something about the cold. Otherwise, we'll be done for. <laughs> Look at her, she's like a little baby. <laughs> like, we could blow the rock a bye, Sue. We look like there are eight of them in the room. I will end up using a lot of my quirk, but right now, it's all I can do. The biggest problem facing these UA students is the frigid air being pumped into the room. 
In order to fix that, the one named Yaoi Rozu must utilize her power. Her quirk uses the lipids inside her body to create solid matter. We'll make her exhaust her abilities. Saiyai Academy! Psycho Intelli! Second year! Her quirk, IQ! After she drinks tea and closes her eyes, her IQ multiplies! Huh. Wonder how Oh, for God's sakes. Use your quirk, Yaoi Rozu! Hey, why aren't you making anything? Is there something wrong? No matter how many different ways I look at this situation, I get the same answer. The enemies want me to use my quirk. They can't account for all the things that I might make, which is why they're doing this. We should just charge out that door and attack them head on. I'm sure that such a smart enemy has predicted that we might do that. Okay, fine, then what do we do? If I can still move at all, then I can't just sit still. <sighs> That's right. I have to save them. Forget about my provisional exam. Focus on these three. Everyone, please, endure these conditions for a few more minutes. No. Hey, are you crazy? Just be with me. Huh? Why hit bones? Just save enough lipids so I can still move. And make it as big as possible. Almost there. Wait, is that... Hmm. Prepare to take them, ladies. Yes, yes ma'am. Ma how utterly delightful. I wonder what we'll find inside. Oh! The headphones help, but the force is rattling my body! Six, five, four, three, two, one! All right, we brought this. Now eliminate them, and then you all pass. You got it. Uh-oh. No! You used your quirk to attack, not defend. But because of that, you can't fight now, can you? I may not pass, but I'll make sure you don't either. Time to show off the results! Wait, what? You're struggling <laughs> Don't think so. That might be how you roll, but not us. We're obviously different. She's our friend, which means we never leave her behind. And we don't give up. It's how Class 1A is. We look out for each other. You know, it doesn't disappoint. Uh. Hey, Kaminari. Why'd you follow us? The heck I was that? Why, right? What? Go die. Come on, man. <clears throat> look out! Ooh! Ooh. Terrifying. Look, that's <laughs> disgusting. Turn the dude into chewed bubble gum. God, Jesus, what the fuck? That's horrible. It's just like, oh. really just happened? All I know is that bastard looks like he's to blame. Earlier, someone tried to outpace his classmates. I'll take her down fast. No, wait. He was panicking that he wouldn't get enough points in. As people get worried, they'll break away from their classmates, and then they'll be at a big disadvantage. Right. Wait, then what were you saying we should all stick together? We were told to hit weak points with balls, so it's easy to think of this as target practice. And without knowing our opponent's quirks, we're basically going in blind. But it's not easy or efficient to go after moving targets. I wanted to first make sure that we trapped enough people for everyone in our class to pass. Then we'd use our balls only after they couldn't move anymore. It's true that if we were just doing target practice, they'd only be able to tell whether or not we were good shots. There's more to this test than I originally realized. Listen, you guys. Be a decoy so you can move. Be on the lookout for openings that'll let you immobilize people to get some points. I'm from Shiketsu. Each and every one of our movements is crowned by the legacy and honor of our school. We value obligation and dignity, things that appear to be sorely lacking among you. He said his beady eyes are full of tears so he can't see how strong his opponents are. <laughs> My eyes are dry and handsome, thank you! <laughs> <laughs> Don't provoke this guy! You just like to hear yourself talk. I don't see any proof. Show us with your actions, not your cheap words! Draw the opponent's scene as close as possible. Make them gather in one place. They might not have realized it themselves, but in Class 1A, there are two people whose spirits have a big impact. They're not leaders, we're the most popular. 
and the two of them don't get along at all. Every time there's some kind of major event, one of them is at the center of it. I'm not worried, Joke. It's the opposite, actually. Even if those two aren't physically with the others, their presence raises the standard for the entire class. You've fallen for them hard. It's kind of gross. I'm honored to have them as students. My class 1A. There you go. I see what he means by those two inspiring people. Bakugo with just his like raw energy of like just wanting to burst forward and all that. That's one thing. Uh, but Midoriya for his uh, for his I guess Midoriya for his inspiration, like like, like how much he actually wants to help people. Bro in spite of him breaking himself to pieces. His broccoli yeah, yeah, benevolence. Rosie thought about him whenever she came up with her plan. I realized that uh, she was playing into the trap. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was like, if she makes the clay to block off the air conditioners, they lose. Yes. Well, because... because but The only reason that she actually won against them at all, pretty much, is because... The IQ girl was overly confident. Yes. Like, the cockiness defeated her because her quirk easily, if she hadn't been so overly confident, could have allowed her to think up every possible scenario and shut them completely down, no problem whatsoever. Yeah, absolutely. And the thing with uh, the thing with, uh, with IQ girl is that I guarantee... Uh-oh. What happened? Guess who they just announced for Silent Hill? Not not Silent Hill. Dead by Daylight. Who? I, I kind of gave it away. Pyramid um, Head. My, Pyramid Head. Nice. So Pyramid <laughs> Head is going to be in Dead by Daylight. That's Nick badass. Is very, yeah, Nick. Nick loves Dead by Daylight. Gonna have to reinstall that game now. <laughs> well, whenever we get that new uh, that new M.2 drive for you, I mean, you'll have all the room in the world to install as many games as you want. <clears throat> but yeah, the, I mean, overconfidence is the downfall of a lot of great leaders i mean because you know the because keep in mind the french uh in world war ii were confident they were like there's no way the germans will actually be able to break through the ardennes forest yeah yeah how'd that work out uh and then of course there's also uh you know great leaders like alexander i mean alexander never lost a battle but in his overconfidence he uh you know he grew to trust certain people and those people betrayed him and with this, I mean, IQ Girl, she was so confident that her plan would work and that everyone else would follow exactly how she had it mapped out in her head. And then, lo and behold, Yaya Rose is just like, nah, no, uh, no clay, no clay. How's about a speaker? And then just absolutely just destroys everybody with those speakers. And then, of course, I feel bad for Jiro because, uh, you know, her ear got taken out because that's that's gotta suck yeah that's gotta suck terribly but um i mean jesus this this whole this whole test well like we're seeing we're seeing how uh how todoroki or not to, we're seeing how well todoroki seems to be it was inspired by midoriya during the during the hero uh the uh the festival and everything but it's showing i think how everyone else is inspired by Midoriya and uh, and Bakugo at this point. <clears throat> I think I think Todoroki is sort of uh, you know could sort of be seen as like a tertiary inspirational thing, but he's often too caught up in himself to really like inspire anybody. But Bakugo, like I, I think Bakugo, with his just raw energy and his like his uh, instincts and everything, that would inspire a lot of people to get better. I mean, because. Because it's just like you see how intense he is, and there's people out there who want to match that. They're like, because I've been around that environment in football. Because there was this one kid, uh, Alucci, who was just like the fastest kid on the team. Like no one could catch him and everything. And then very slowly, the rest, like certain people, like certain D backs and certain uh, linebackers, were actually able to catch up to him because they learned from him and they were able to get better. See, this is another thing about how competition can a lot, in a lot of ways, make things better. I mean, competition is is a flame is one of the. I'd say it's one of the flames of human life because humanity, 
you know, no matter what you believe, the world that we've built and everything has been made better by competition. Has always been made better by competition. And the fact that it, that seems to be lost nowadays, the fact that competition nowadays is... It's like, oh, why even bother competing anymore? You know, oh, you know, there's all these things that are too big to fail. It's like, that, you know, you the futility of fighting against, you know, these unbeatable, like, skyscrapers and all that, these unbeatable, like, big things. I mean, I don't believe in that. I mean, even if you chip away at the foundation and it takes you 30 years to make a dent... I mean, you at least made a dent in a way that at least changed the landscape for the better for everybody. I mean, hell, when it comes down to it, if I never, if, if, one of my dreams when I was a kid was I wanted to be like, I wanted to have a movie studio and make movies. If I never reach that dream and I'm never like a, you know, I, I don't want to be big in Hollywood. Hollywood to me is a, an ancient system that needed to die like a long time ago. If I never achieve the amount of success that I dreamed of, that's fine. But if I'm able to make a dent that allows people to see how they can achieve better things, whether, you know, because it's so easy to give up nowadays. It is so easy to give up because, you know, there's so many things that, you know, people attribute to giving up. It's like, oh, why even bother? Oh, you know, you, you know the whole system's against you. The whole system may be against you, but that doesn't mean you need to give up at all. Because, you know, what's the point of living then? Sorry. Sorry. That, uh, all of the, like, this This is inspiring to me because I, you know, I love I love this show so much. I mean, it's it's probably one of, it's, I'd say it is probably my favorite show we're watching right now that I, that I haven't seen. I mean, I love Avatar, but I've, I've pretty much seen it all already. But this is probably by far my favorite show we're watching that, yeah, that I haven't seen. And, um, I don't know where you all stand on it. I mean... No, it's, it's fun. It's super cool. Yeah. And, well, that's you, Nick. What do you think of this show? I prefer hair, man. Anyway. <laughs> I think I like Demon Slayer and um, Promise Neverland a bit more than this so far, but... Fair enough. It's still up there, so... Oh, yeah. yeah. Doesn't mean I, like, don't really, really like it. Oh well, I love Demon Slayer and Promise Neverland as well. It's just that it, given how long we've been doing this and how long it's taken us to get to where we are right now, and the fact that we're almost caught up to season four, the most current season, I'm just like, yes, can't wait. I can't wait to see what's going to happen next. And speaking of can't wait to see what's going to happen next, I mean, I wonder if uh, now, uh, if I think Midoriya has a good chance of not only winning but also uh, you know making it to the next uh, next section. Of the uh, provisional hero exam. So I think I'm wondering, and it's probably too soon, but I don't know because of the uh, the calculations on the amount of time that's passed. But I'm wondering if uh, is it Shigaraki is his name? Shigaraki, the handyman. Oh, handyman. I'm wondering if him and the villains are going to show up at the end of this to ooh crash the party somehow or something. They may very well, although I will say... Because it would be kind of a reckless move to around, attack with that many, even though they're all, like, you know, students, with that many heroes in one spot. Mm -hmm. I feel like that would be kind of reckless, but at the same time, unexpected and possibly vulnerable to some sort of, like, terrorist attack type deal. Probably. So. I would say that, but also, there's a lot more pro-heroes around than the last time they attacked. Mm -hmm. uh, because, and plus... They're all just concentrated on the in plan one area. He comes up with, you know. Yeah, if they come up with a good enough plan, absolutely. I mean, you know, as Hannibal said, I mean, as you know, Hannibal from uh, A Team always said, all you need is a good plan and for it to come together. And I love it when a plan comes together. Yeah, but because if it, they're not planning to stay and fight, if they're just planning to do some sort of guerrilla move, like yeah, you know, like show up, blow something up, grab somebody, and poof, like or something like that. You in, know, like, in which they got. They got uh, the portal dude, so they can do that. <clears throat> they showed up and they grabbed, say, someone... And they don't even have to try and grab, like, a, one of the stronger students. Because they, they grabbed Bakugo, who's one of the stronger students. But if they grabbed a student, I don't know, say... The tornado guy. Yeah. Like, you know, um, the one dude from uh, the other school with the vibration quirk. Yeah. If they grabbed one of them, I mean... 
Who knows, dude? Or Cammy or anyone like you know. Like. Cammy, I think that it'd be a little hard for them to grab her unless they fully like knew where she was and like trank darted her or something. But yeah, the way she moves is on her probably. Yeah, the way she moves though is is hard. It's hard to peg her down. That's that's the one thing about her. I think she'll be like I'm not gonna say like an assassin hero because there's like that's not really accepted in this world. But I think she will be like an espionage hero. She'll definitely be like a hero that goes in deep infiltration, learns about others. Like she learned about uh, Deku. She learned about him, and she got him pegged down pretty good. I think uh, there's so many heroes with so many different things in this uh, universe, pretty much. Especially with like IQ Girl or someone that they could come up with some plan to basically just infiltrate and like, you know, disassemble like all of the villains in the world pretty easily. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's just you have to get them to work together. That's yeah. the thing because pride, dude. I mean, you saw how it was at the beginning. I mean, Kamui Woods was about to take that one dude down, and then all of a sudden, here comes Mount Lady with a drop kick out of nowhere because she wanted the glory. Mm-hmm. And that's the one thing. I mean, you have to work together. I, if it takes a village, if it takes a village to stop a crime, it takes a village to let a crime to let a crime happen. And you know, if you know, if no action. I think is our taken, like uh, session of Human Fall Flat's kind of like an example of that because we had a room with a lot of really smart people playing a game, but like everybody was wanting to do stuff themselves, so it wasn't yeah, working until we and, got everybody. And everyone to was rushing ahead, finally and get doing on the same page and, towards the end. Yeah. Uh, there was a point, dude, where everyone was just, like, yelling at each other. I had to deafen the chat, and I was just like, I, I, I just, and then I went back to try and ha- do a bit. I went tra- back to try and get this axe, and I was going to, like, pretend to chase people down, and then the way back got taken away when one of the dudes just, like, literally threw the log off the edge, and I was just like, you know what, screw this. And I just, I just, like, went off, and I was like, I was like, uh, no, I'm not, I'm not dealing with this. But, the, yeah, the... The whole thing is whenever whenever people go in it for themselves instead of working together, I mean, especially when it calls for you to work together, I mean, that's when bad shit can happen. That's when, you know, accidents happen, people get hurt, and the objective is lost. I mean, that's, that's how it's always been throughout history. And hopefully this, you know, what, what Deku does, what Deku... And Bakugo will inspire in this upcoming generation of heroes is the need and the will to work together. Because we've had like the solo hero doing everything himself with All Might. What if we have like a hero who's just like, all right, everybody, let's do this together and let's work let's work as a team to make the make the world a better place and stuff like that. I mean, that may be what we have with uh, Deku. And Bakugo. No, not with Bakugo. Well, no, not with Bakugo. No, you mentioned I would definitely disagree. He doesn't inspire that at all right now. No. But he does inspire you to, like, push through. Oh, he he does. I mean, he's got... I mean, Kirishima and Kaminari followed after him, but he... I think it's, like, Deku's the spirit of teamwork and heroism, and Bakugo's the spirit of competition and bettering yourself, essentially. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, I could see that. If you could like good analogy. DBZ fusion them together, they'd be like the perfect hero. Mellow each other out a little bit. <laughs> that, that's yeah, that's a good thought. I kind of want Bakugo to get potato fied and then like not Kaminari, but like shock brain Kaminari be the one to bail him hey, out, and hey, he, just, he has to live with that for hey, a while. Hey, it'll humble him. Yeah, where he's just like. It somehow pulls something off, like even with his like dumb brain. Yeah. He's like, I can't believe you saved me. And, and he comes up, he's just like, Come in, Ari. I didn't ask you to save me. Hey. He like, you can't even be insulted because it's just like. Yeah. That's what I want. It's not going to happen, but that's what I want. Like, he's too dumb to be potato fied, so he's just like, <coughs> can still shock people uh, somehow. Uh-huh. Yeah, like, that's his defense. Even when he's like, 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 d- like, derped. Like derped out of existence, he's just he still has like a, a rudimentary amount yeah. of shock going on to where that stuff can't affect him. I get what you're saying with that. That'd something, be, just something like that would be amusing. That'd be very funny. Okay, well, ladies and gentlemen, this was a good episode. I can't wait to see what's going to happen next. This was my hero, uh, season three, episode seventeen, 
Class 1A. Hopefully you all enjoyed, and hopefully we will see you all in the next one. If you want, if you know, you know what to do. If you want to see more, you hit that subscribe button. You ring that bell to stay notified. And until next time, I'm Nate. Micah. I'm Nick. And we'll see you in the next one, everybody. Peace out.